the edwardian age also known as the late victorian age 1900 to 1910 follows next some critics believe that the victorian age started to diminish after the jubilee of queen victoria in 1887 and with the death of tennyson the writers between 1900 to 1910 were in transition from the victorian ideals towards the modern era queen victoria after her death was succeeded by Edward the 7th who ruled till the year 1910 the novelists of the transition period were john galsworthy arnold bennett h g wells m foster g k chesterton joseph conrad rudyard kipling and ford madox ford these writers can also be seen as the early pioneers of modern novels there were a group of poets called rupert brooke John Masfield, W. H. Davies, Walt Dallame, Abercrombie, John Drinkwater, and Wilfred Wilson published their poems in an anthology named Georgian Poetry. As a result, reviving poetry during the Edwardian age. Thomas Hardy is one of the prominent novelists and also poet and dramatist of Edwardian era. Sometimes this age of transition is also called the age of Hardy. Other poets of this age were Alfred Austin, Alfred Noyes, Francis Thompson, A. Houseman, and Robert Bridges. The decadent movement or also the aesthetic movement consisted of writers who followed the dictum art for art's sake. Oscar Wilde, Aubrey Beardsley, Arthur Symons, Ernest Dowson, and Lionel Johnson were some of the decadent writers of the Edwardian age. Dramatists like T. W. Robertson, A. W. Pinero, Henry Arthur Jones, Herbert Granville Barker published The Problem Place and laid a path to legendary playwright George Bernard Shaw, who wrote a vast number of plays and made his way into the modern age. The Irish theatre movement also began during the late Victorian age. The writers of this movement were W. H. George William Russell, Lady Gregory, A. F. Honeyman, and James Singh wrote plays to popularize Irish culture and traditions. Yeah.